I owe this aspen image to an owl, to a great horned owl. I often chase storms and I get up really early to catch early light, catch moments when rain is clearing. And often uh, if I've been out for four or five days and I'm really tired of getting up early and I don't expect any sort of weather the next morning I sleep in. But the night before this picture happened, I had uh, parked under a tree and it turns out that there was a great horned owl roosting in the tree over my head. And about uh, two or three in the morning, he started going at odd intervals. And um, I just couldn't sleep. It was driving me crazy. And I got up and shined a light at him and I threw sticks at him. Uh, I wouldn't if he had been a, a spotted owl, but this is a, a very common bird. Um, and so at, at uh, sunrise, I was wide awake and I got back. I jumped up, got in the truck, and I drove down a road that I had been up and down several times the day before and hadn't seen anything. But at the moment when the first light hit the canopy of yellow aspen leaves over the top of this picture, it created this amazing uh, sense of depth and dimensionality by creating, as you'll see, highlights on actually on both sides of the trunks, which gives them a very rounded shape. And it picked up the ferns, which create a, a sweeping, curving line that leads you back into the picture. And um, all of a sudden, I got very excited, jumped out of my truck, ran down a hillside, and set this up. And I had time to shoot it twice. Uh, this is the second of the two before the light came up too high and just blew out the whole scene with much too much light. If you look around the exhibit, there is rarely a sky in the picture unless the sky is a vital part of the image, unless the sky really contributes something. I try to avoid empty or bald skies. They don't create a complete picture. Essentially, they're boring. So I try to frame out the sky unless it's really part of the picture. And to do that, I often have to get above the subject. So I spend a lot of time scrambling up hills and perching on rocks and even on the sides of cliffs to try to get a way to frame the sky out of the image.